Anthony Bourdain. He was born on June 25, 1956 in Manhattan, New York. Anthony Bourdain was an American celebrity chef, author, and travel documentarian who starred in programs focusing on the exploration of international culture, cuisine, and the human condition Bourdain was a 1978 graduate of the Culinary Institute of America and a veteran of a number of professional kitchens during his career, which included many years spent as an executive chef at Brasserie Les Halles in Manhattan. He first became known for his best-selling book Kitchen Confidential. Adventures in the Culinary Underbelly Bourdain's first food and world travel television show A Cook's Tour ran for 35 episodes on the Food Network in 2002 and 2003. In 2005, he began hosting the Travel Channel's culinary and cultural adventure programs Anthony Bourdain. No reservations from 2005 to 2012 and the layover from 2011 to 2013 in 2013. He began a three-season run as a judge on The Taste, and consequently switched his travelogue programming to CNN to host Anthony Bourdain, Parts Unknown. His paternal grandparents were French. His paternal grandfather emigrated from Arcachon to New York following World War I. Bourdain's love of food was kindled in his youth while on a family vacation in France when he tried his first oyster on a fisherman's boat. He graduated from the Dwight Englewood School an independent co-educational college preparatory day school in Englewood, New Jersey, in 1973 then enrolled at Vassar College, but dropped out after two years. He worked in seafood restaurants in Provincetown, Massachusetts, while attending Vassar, which inspired his decision to pursue cooking as a career. In the mid-1980s, Bourdain began submitting unsolicited work for publication to Between C and D, a literary magazine of the Lower East Side. The magazine eventually published a piece that he had written about a chef who was trying to purchase heroin in the Lower East Side. In 1985, Bourdain signed up for a writing workshop with Gordon Lish. In 1990, Bourdain received a small book advance from Random House, after meeting a Random House editor. His first book, A Culinary Mystery Bone in the Throat, was published in 1995. He paid for his own book tour, but he did not find success. His second mystery book, Gone Bamboo, also performed poorly in sales. Bourdain attended the Culinary Institute of America, graduating in 1978. From there he went on to run various restaurant kitchens in New York City, including the Supper Club, 1 Fifth Avenue, and Sullivan's. In 1998, he became an executive chef at Brasserie Les Halles. Based in Manhattan, at the time the brand had additional restaurants in Miami, Washington, D.C., and Tokyo. Bourdain was known for consuming exotic local specialty dishes, having eaten black-colored blood sausages called mastamakara in Finland and also, sheep testicles in Morocco, ant eggs in Puebla, Mexico, a raw seal eyeball as part of a traditional Inuit seal hunt, and an entire cobra beating heart, blood, bile, and meat in Vietnam. He was quoted as saying that a chicken McNugget was the most disgusting thing he ever ate but he was fond of Popeye's chicken. He also declared that the unwashed warthog rectum he ate in Namibia was the worst meal of his life, along with the fermented shark he ate in Iceland. On April 20, 2007, he married Octavia Busha, who later became a mixed martial artist the couple's daughter, Ariane, was born in 2007. Bourdain said having to be away from his family for 250 days a year working on his television shows put strain on the relationship. Busha appeared in several episodes of No Reservations notably the ones in her birthplace of Sardinia, Tuscany, Rome, Rio de Janeiro and Naples. The couple separated in 2016. Bourdain met Italian actress Asia Argento in 2016 while filming the Rome episode of Parts Unknown. In October 2017, Argento told in an article of The New Yorker that she had been sexually assaulted by Harvey Weinstein in the 1990s. After being criticized for her account in Italian media and politics, Argento moved to Germany to escape what she described as a culture of victim-blaming in Italy. Argento delivered a speech on May 20, 2018, following the 2018 Cannes Film Festival, calling the festival Weinstein's hunting ground, alleging that she was raped by Weinstein in Cannes when she was 21. She added, and even tonight, sitting among you, there are those who still have to be held accountable for their conduct against women. Bourdain supported her during that period. On June 3, 2018, Bourdain tweeted a video where the team was celebrating during the production of the show with Argento as director, him and Chris Doyle. In August 2018, 
it emerged that Bourdain paid actor Jimmy Bennett a $380,000 settlement in October 2017 for his silence so that Argento could avoid negative publicity for allegedly sexually assaulting Bennett in 2013 when he was 17 and Argento was 37. Bourdain practiced the martial art Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, earning a blue belt in August 2015. He won gold at the IBJJF New York Spring International Open Championship in 2016, in the middleweight Master 5, age 51 and older, division. Bourdain was known to be a heavy smoker. In a nod to Bourdain's two-pack-a-day cigarette habit, Thomas Keller once served him a 20-course tasting menu which included a mid-meal, coffee and cigarette, a coffee custard infused with tobacco, with a foie gras mousse. He stopped smoking in 2007 for his daughter, but restarted towards the end of his life. A former user of cocaine, heroin, and LSD, he wrote in Kitchen Confidential of his experience in a trendy Soho restaurant in 1981, where he and his friends were often high. Bourdain said drugs influenced his decisions, and that he sent a busboy to Alphabet City to obtain cannabis, methaqualone, cocaine, LSD, psilocybin mushrooms, secobarbital, tuanol, amphetamine, codeine, and heroin. In early June 2018, Bourdain was working on an episode of Parts Unknown in Strasbourg, with his frequent collaborator and friend Eric Rippert. On June 8, Rippert became worried when he had missed dinner and breakfast. He subsequently found Bourdain dead of an apparent suicide by hanging in his room at Le Chambard Hotel in Kaisersburg near Colmar. Christian de Roquigny du Fail, the public prosecutor for Colmar, said Bourdain's body bore no signs of violence and the suicide appeared to be an impulsive act. Roquigny du Fail disclosed that Bourdain's toxicology results were negative for narcotics, showing only a trace of a therapeutic non-narcotic medication. Bourdain's body was cremated in France on June 13, 2018, and his ashes were returned to the United States two days later.